Verstanden. Five to you, one to you. He's out. Ah, <laughs> yeah, baby. Hello, gentles and ladymen. I'm Ulan Gaming, and today I bring you a new variant on the Petard Rush. Yes, indeed. The Petard Rush is a normally Dutch strategy uh, that involves fast fortressing as fast as humanly possible, disregarding everything economy, and shipping Petards, followed by halberdiers, skirmishers, and various mercenaries as you struggle and claw your way back into a reasonable economy. However, I, uh, when I was going through the various civilizations and reading all of their shipments, both to brush up on my game knowledge and to search for something to make a video out of, yes, that's something I do, I came, I realized for seemingly the first ever time after, you know, hundreds of hours that Malta has a six petard shipment as well, and it's not just Dutch. And I'm sure that those two are not the only civilizations to have the 6 petard shipment, but it got me thinking, and I tried, and I tested out a, a couple different strategies, and found out that Malta actually has a better petard rush than Dutch. Uh, and it, it's synergistic pretty well for a couple different reasons. Um, one is that we actually get units with our fast age up due to our fast age up coming from a car rather than the age up itself. So we get a couple hospitalers with it when we go into age three. Uh, and another thing is that when I, I, w after you have sent the petards and they blow up, you normally send halberdiers so that you have something to siege. But the halberdiers don't generally perform super well once they actually get into combat with other enemy units due to, you know other enemy units being better if they have even remotely um, any amount of range. If your opponent makes skirmishers or musketeers then or archers of any kind, then you're screwed. But Malta has the Fire Thrower, which beats skirmishers, musketeers, and dragoons, and also has High Siege, and they have a shipment of nine of them in H3, which makes this a very, very good synergistic thing to go with it, because the only thing they're weak to is Heavy Cav, and we get the counter to that with our Age Up with the Hospitalis. In addition, there's a little bit more synergy because you are so play playing so minimalistic, and after destroying the enemy's town center, you are, uh, can place depots pretty much anywhere you want and start blowing up their base with very minimal wood. And lastly, they just have better mercenaries because you can ship both giant grenadiers and armored pistoliers for just all the area of effects musketeer mercenaries you could ever ask for. So that is my little spiel before we get into this. Uh, the build order starts with a 10-10 as Malta, skipping all shipments in age one and going straight to age two where our first shipment is 700 coin. Enjoy the rest of the video. All right, I'm gonna go figure out which side uh, Inca is on. We, we do have a bit of an unfortunate start that the, the map is a little narrow. It yeah. looks like ink is on my side. I'm not going to be able to sneak Pitar, my, my outpost wagon around, I don't think. Okay, I'll go back now. Because ideally, I want to sneak my outpost wagon like into the back of their bases, you know? Okay. How's my mic now? I'm on the app now. I might be able to do it actually. Assuming he didn't go water. Oh, you sound much better, by the way. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, I actually think I can sneak around this tambo without it seeing me. Oh, buddy boy got his chassis on me. Oh my god, I lost my. <laughs> Oh, uh, my explorer is going to be going down as well. That's actually really unfortunate. All 
I, I don't see any fish de uh, sapping down from a... Oh no, he found my fucking outpost wagon. You gotta build it right then and there. <laughs> yeah, okay, my petards pr might not hit. Just because he knows- he now knows that they're there. He now knows that the outpost is there. Ah, uh, There's a forward base over here. Well... Yeah. Then they won't- right. then they, I, my petards might have a chance after all. <laughs> Yeah, fake four base. Aging to three. With fast. Right. It's a really fast, fast fortress timing. Holy I crap. I told you, man. <laughs> oh, we have some forward settlers here. He's got a market up there? What the fuck? That's might a brave be, Portugal player, man. Might be to just block off, like, attack avenues, but that's crazy. It's brave. Okay, I'm gonna hit H3 soon. Do you have any kind of force ready to go? No. I am just aging to three. Okay, the PR shipment is on the way. Yeah? I'm gonna have to have Fortress up to, like, deal with Portugal. So, that's, like, my only problem. There are a lot of forward settlers there. Oh, yeah. He's not being too careful about his hurting. Look at this, there's four dead moose right here. Alright, they're in. Watch this. I'm also aging, so you catch like a... Oh, Inca doesn't have their... Uh-oh. One might die. If I lose two, then the town center lives. I don't think I'm gonna lose two, though. There it is. Holy crap. Holy fuck. Alright, fire thrower is being sent next. That's ridiculous. I don't know how you found out that build, but hey, does Inca actually have, um... What do you call it? Levies? Uh, no, they're natives. They have to dance at the plaza. That's... Oh my god, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> You could do this against literally like most African civs and like, oh my god, that's just disgusting to think about. <laughs> oh, big musketeer army coming towards me. You should probably run your hospitalers. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what a, what a build. <laughs> oh my, I just wiped that army! <laughs> Jesus. I actually beat it back. Alright, well, I'm gonna start attacking this wall. Okay, now I'm switching to some wood and food gathering. Nice fortress. Alright, giant grenadiers being shipped next. Eva, Benea, Bonjour, Kaka, 
cacciatori. Il giovane cacciatrici. Gran mastro. Le piesse. How are you holding up on your runs? I managed to wipe Portugal's first army out, which was nice. Well, you have another army over here, mostly of CM. Oh, cool, my explorer's up again. Yep, oh, you got him, baby. I have a couple more seconds before my uh, giant grenadiers arrive. Oh, can you pick up my explorer? Yeah, he's on the way. You're up. Alright, giant grenadiers are up. Ink is out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Honestly, that build would piss anyone off. <laughs> yeah, it tends to do that. So how did you find out about that? Well, it was originally a Dutch build order that I did back in Legacy. Oh, wow. Do you have any coin to send for chance? Because I can send Say chip. If, if you chip some me some coin, I could. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> Isn't this great? I like how the moment he showed up, it was like base with giant grenadiers. He just like left. What does he actually have? What does who have? Inca. Concha houses, but that's it. <laughs> he literally couldn't train anything. Yeah, I, I killed his uh, his only war hut. Oh my god! Because so giant funny. grenadiers have fifty siege. That that is so funny! Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> That's. And as you can see, because I destroyed his first town center, it synergizes with Malta now because I can build depots in his base. Oh my god. <laughs> That's why I was salty, I lost my explorer. 